Hey guys, how's it going? Lewis Harding Invest here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be running through my investment portfolio update for August 2021. This is a beginner's portfolio worth around £11,000. Let's get straight into it. So yeah, for anyone new around here, let's go through my portfolio details and target allocation. Uh, so essentially, I started this portfolio in May 2020, so just over a year ago now, um, and my benchmark is the FTSE All World Index. Um, yeah, so I've got around 11 grand in my portfolio now, and this makes up my balances from my free trade ISA, my free trade SIP, my Crowdcube and Cedars crowdfunded investments, or I call them venture capital. Uh, but it also includes my Bitcoin holding as well, so... It's basically all of them different investments, all as one as, as one big investment strategy. Uh, so yeah, it's basically all of the investments outside of property. So, you know, nice and simple, pretty easy to record. And yeah, I do one of these updates every single month for, for you guys. So yeah, so my target allocation, I'm essentially looking to invest in individual stocks, which makes up 30%. Um, the World Small Cap Index, which makes a 20%. Uh, Emerging Markets Index, so there's, there's about three indexes in there, but that makes a 20%. Um, venture Capital, um, so this is my equity crowdfunding, um, so that makes a 20%. Bitcoin, so Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gold, then they, they make up the rest essentially. So, you know, it's a pretty diverse portfolio of, you know, individual companies, ETFs, you know, startups, so, uh, Overall, it's just a nice, diverse set of investments, which I'm hoping over time can beat the overall market. So we'll have to see. So now let's have a look at the performance of the portfolio. So I'm currently up 28% compared to the FTSE All World being up 48%. So I'm still lagging behind the index by about 20% or so, uh, which is not good news, of course, because uh, you want to be beating the index over time. Um, but yeah, essentially my venture capital investments and my Bitcoin investment are doing rather well. Um, they're the outperformers to be fair and they make up the majority of my gains. Um, and then the individual stocks, um, you know, they make up around 12%. They've gained 12%. Um, so yeah, that's. I don't really have much to say on the performance wise because I'm a long-term investor. I'm hoping over time these investments do go up. For short, I've already been investing in some of these for a year. So it is what it is for short term price movements. But yeah, I'd just like to show you what how I'm, how I am performing against the market because I think that's important to have a benchmark. And it also keeps me accountable as an investor as well. Um, and it keeps me accountable to you guys because I want to show, I'll be really transparent with what I'm doing with my investments and then you guys can see um, you know, how I'm performing against the benchmark of the market because at the end of the day, if you're not beating the market, it's not really worth investing in all these different things. Uh, my hope is that over time, I'll be able to beat the market by a few percentage points um, and that will let me compound my wealth a lot quicker than you know the average person. So yeah, for this month, the biggest news probably has to be that I have sold my Alibaba shares. Um, so yeah, I did this a couple of days ago um, and essentially I've got a few reasons for this and it is nothing to do with the Chinese, the recent Chinese sell-off in, in Chinese shares, um, which has caused like, Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu and all the big Chinese tech companies to fall. Um, quite a lot recently to be fair, or over the past six months I've fallen quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, my reason for selling Alibaba is nothing to do with the company itself because I think it's an absolutely fantastic business and it's a great company. It is totally to do with in what account I'm holding my shares. So essentially I own the majority of my shares, well, before I sold Alibaba, everything apart from Alibaba was in my free trade ISA and my free trade SIP. So you know, all of my shares and investments, you know, listed were within, you know, a tax wrapper. So everyone knows the benefits of an ISA. Um, there's no gains, capital gains tax on, um, you know, if you make gains in, in there, you don't pay any capital gains on any, you know, if it goes up. Um, and then you don't pay any income tax on the dividend. So it's an absolutely fantastic wrapper. And then, Sim you know, quite similar, the SIP, um, you don't pay any capital gains in there and you don't pay any income tax on there, you're only paying tax on your pension when you start withdrawing when you're in retirement. So yeah, essentially all my investments are in a good, a good tax wrapper and it means over time it's very efficient tax wise. The only shares I didn't own within an ISA were Alibaba, so I had about 70 quid worth of shares in my general investment account. And I just thought to myself, for, for the sake of 70 quid, it's not even worth me owning them. Um, end of the day, it, it's just not worth it. So that's why I sold and I've just moved the money over to my ISA really so I can use them funds to buy something else, which will probably end up being a China ETF. So here goes the other point, it's not all lost because essentially what I've done is I sold my Alibaba, but I've got quite a large shareholding in China ETF and Emerging Markets ETF. 
And these ETFs own quite a lot of Alibaba, so I don't actually, I haven't actually lost owning Alibaba. I've just sold the shares and I'm just trying to keep my investments quite tidy. So I have my ISA, my SIP, my Crowdcube and Cedis investments, and then I've got my Bitcoin as well, which I use Coinbase and BlockFi for that. So, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to keep it really simple and this was just bit doing a bit of admin and tidying up. But yeah, ultimately I think Alibaba is a fantastic business and it is such a shame you can't own it within ISA because it would be so much better. Because uh, I really do think this business could be one of the biggest on the planet, you know, in the next decade or so. You know, China is going to be the world's biggest economy. Um, Alibaba can become a truly global business. Um, and and yeah, so it, it is a shame I've sold them, but you've got to remember, I think it's a great company and I think it will do well going into the future, especially right now at current prices. However, only earning £70 worth of them shares, not really worth it over the long term. So yeah, that's my reason for selling Al Alibaba in the end. So yeah, my only additions for the month were from my equity crowdfunding portfolio. So I call it my venture capital section of my holdings. So I bought shares in Crowd Property and Coconut. So let's go through Crowd Property first. So essentially, what, what is Crowd Property? They are essentially uh, the UK's leading peer-to-peer -peer lending platform for property. Uh, so basically they get their users to invest their money on the platform to, de to developers and they get an interest rate back. Um, so yeah, it's a really interesting platform. The company itself is profitable, so it's absolutely amazing. And from current levels, I reckon at the current valuation, we could see a 10x, so it could be a 10 bagger for, for my investment. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting one over the next four or five years. I think if the company's already profitable and it's still growing massively, it's, a, it's only good signs, isn't it really? So we'll have to see how it goes, but yeah, interesting stuff. And then on to Coconut. So yeah, I, I invested in Coconut last year and they had their crowdfunding, crowdfunding round again this year. Uh, just decided to take the plunge and invest again because you know I'm excited about this company. And I think if you really do like the company and you might as well go for it again, so. Decided to go for it again, put some more money into Coconut. Their growth for the next couple of years is gonna be fantastic. Um, so basically what is Coconut, it's a, it's a bookkeeping app for sole traders. Um, so this space is very underserved in the accounting market because mostly aimed at you know, big companies or you know, even small companies, but nothing's aimed at sole traders themselves. So this app is a very slick app and it does everything, all your taxes and all, it gets all your expenses tracked for you. So it makes your account's life very easy. So I think this app is gonna be very good going forward. I could see it being acquired by someone in the, in the, in the distant future, but hopefully that means the valuation is high and it means I get a good return. So I'm expecting good things. And I think Coconut is my second favorite crowdfunding investment outside of free trade and um, so yeah we will see what happens but exciting stuff ahead so there we have it that's it for this month's investment portfolio update you know not much has really happened this month um, i'm expecting a few bigger things to happen over the coming months i'm gonna i'm gonna be having some more money um, transferred from my old workplace sip into my free trade sip increasing the funds available for myself um, and, and also free trade are going to be raising again so i'm expecting their share price to go through the roof which will mean wonders for my investment portfolio so yeah if you'd like to learn more about investing investing then please subscribe to my weekly newsletter the harding herald in this newsletter we have four or five of the biggest stories in the world of investing which i've read over the past week and i send it to straight into your inbox so yeah, subscribe to that, the link's in the bio. And if you enjoy my videos, I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. And yeah, I've also set up a Patreon now. So if you'd like to join, be a member and you know join the club, for five pounds a month, you get full Discord benefits. So you can join our community, chat about stocks and other investments, and you get full access to me, what stocks I'm currently looking at, what investments I'm looking at. And you know, it's just a, a great place for like-minded individuals to you know come together, chat about investing. So links in the bio for that as well. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you are new around here, please subscribe to the channel uh, for more investing content. And please, please, please leave a like and a comment on the video as it really does help me out. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.